Hi team, I hope you're having a good Friday. Um, again, I apologize that I can't be here today, but I wanted to make a short video to just walk you through the things that you're gonna be doing with the sub today. Uh, the first thing that you're gonna be doing is called the new planet activity. Oh yeah, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about Wednesday's class. Um, I thank you for the energy that you bring to the classroom. And uh, at the end of class, you guys very happily agreed and you also vocalized that you would be willing to show respect to the sub. I'm not asking you to do a lot of very difficult things today, so it's really important that you remember that you promised me that you would be good for the sub today. So if you can just show respect for each other, show respect for me even though I'm not there, um, by being kind to each other and also showing respect for the sub. Um, the sub also has copies of the seating chart, so if he or she asks you to move, if you could just do whatever it is that they ask you to do in terms of moving your seat so that everyone has a really productive day. All right. Uh, first assignment is going to be the new planet activity. It puts you in a situation where you learn that life on Earth is no longer going to exist. And so you are in charge of deciding the 10 people who you're going to take with you to a new planet. Um, all of the people that you can choose from are listed here. You have 30 different choices, different ages, different genders, different professions, and then also there's little uh, bits and pieces about their life that are included in those details as well. So you're gonna choose the 10, think about the 10 that you feel like would be the most beneficial for a new society. So think about like what you would need in a society. Do you need teachers? Do you need people who can provide food? Do you need people who can provide healthcare, medicine? Um, do you need people who can repopulate the planet? Uh, all of these things are for you to consider and for you to decide. So once you've chosen your 10, you're going to list the person on the next two pages and you're just going to give a brief explanation of why you chose that person. Why do you feel like they can be beneficial to this new planet that you're going to be sent to? This should take 20 to 25 minutes for you to complete and when you're done, you need to turn it. Next thing that you're going to do is you're going to write me a letter. Um, I have written a letter to you and usually I sit and I read it to you guys. Um, and I talk a little bit more about myself and who I am as a teacher. And then I ask you to sit and write as well. I'm not there to read it to you, obviously, so I ask that you read it. It just gives a little bit of background about who I am as a teacher and a little bit about my experience and what has really informed my teaching style as well. You obviously are not a classroom teacher like I am, but I want you to be able to teach me something about yourself. And you're gonna do it all through writing, so you don't have the pressure of having to speak publicly. I'm not gonna share any of the information within the letters to any of your other classmates. Um, so feel free to share to whatever detail that you want. The questions that are listed here are also really open-ended. Uh, you can answer them to whatever detail that you want, and I divided them into two different categories. First category is who you are as a person. Talk to me about who you are outside of the classroom, because usually for everyone, that's a little different than who you are inside of the classroom. And then who you are inside the classroom, I wanna know how you learn, I wanna know about your academic past, I wanna know about some goals that you might have for this year too. Um, and then this, if you do it well, should take 40 to 45 minutes for you to complete. There's lined paper that's in my classroom. Um, the sub will have it and will be willing to share a piece with you if you don't have supplies with you today. The last thing that you're gonna do is that you're gonna watch a documentary about the Holocaust. So the first book that we read is a memoir, meaning it's written from the first person point of view. Um, it's from a Holocaust survivor. So he was 13 to 17 when he lived through the Holocaust. And then when he was liberated from his camp, he took a vow of silence and then years later decided that he really needed his story to be told. And so he wrote the book Night. In order for you to really understand everything that he talks about, you're just gonna watch a documentary or you're gonna start it today, we'll finish it later. You're gonna start a documentary um, where you're gonna learn a little bit about, about that background. So you have a handout that just asks you to jot down some notes while you're listening. I don't expect you to be an expert when you're done watching this. I just want you to be able to take a couple bits and pieces away. So pay attention. Um, you might have some questions. Try to get as much information out of it as possible, and we'll talk about it later. Um, as, again, as a reminder, please be kind. Please be respectful. Have a great weekend. I'll see you on Monday.